Have you ever been to Zurich, Switzerland, or dreamed of going there? Zurich is not only the biggest city in Switzerland, it's also the wealthiest, and it's an incredible place to visit. It's packed with culture, incredible food, amazing shopping, and historical buildings and architecture that will blow your mind. So join Vucation as we guide you through the best things to do in Zurich, Switzerland. Kunsthaus Zurich why not start off your visit to this high-class and luxurious city with a visit to an art gallery that's full of culture and incredible pieces? The collection at Kunsthaus Zurich is second to none in the country. It boasts world-renowned pieces dating as far back as the 1200s, all the way up to modern ones. First, there are the permanent exhibitions. They include masterpieces by Picasso, Monet, and others. This also includes Edvard Munch, the Norwegian master. Their collection of Munch pieces is the second biggest in the world outside of his home country. They also have an impressive collection of classical modernist pieces. All in, there are more than 4,000 paintings and sculptures and 95,000 drawings and prints. And for the casual visitor who's not quite as into art, the temporary exhibits are a perfect match. They focus on entertaining people who aren't art fans by wowing them with bizarre and mind-bending pieces or with works that make commentaries on political and current events. Lake Zurich after you've been inside taking in the incredible art at Kunsthaus Zurich, why not explore some of the amazing nature the city has to offer? A journey to Lake Zurich is a great way to spend an afternoon. It's a favorite for locals and tourists alike, as you can sit on the banks of the lake, set up a picnic, and watch the boats go by. It's a great place to catch some rays as well. Even if you're not on the banks, there are a ton of scenic places to wander or settle down in. An area known as the Lake Promenade consists of a slew of gardens and parks. You can often see people on walks or jogging around the promenade. Or if you're looking to get out onto the water, there are great boat tours on offer. They usually range in the hour to hour and a half length and are a great way to see a better view of the lake and the Alps above it. And for the shoppers in the group, there are plenty of stores and places to eat near the lake. It's made all the more easy by the fact that it's open 24 hours and completely free. Before we tell you more about the best things to do in Zurich, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Old Town If you're looking to get a glimpse of what Zurich looked like hundreds of years ago, you need to head to Old Town. It's one of the most popular areas in all of the city, and for good reason. All the buildings there are left over from medieval times, so you're immediately taken back in time as you look around. The tiny alleys made of cobblestones wind you around some of Old Town's coolest buildings, like the Great Minster. There are also amazing museums and hotels in Old Town, so you can easily spend a couple of days simply taking all of it in. One popular spot is the Mulesteg Footbridge. It's covered in locks put there by couples in love, and it's quite the sight. But Old Town isn't just a daytime attraction. It actually has more nightclubs and bars than any other place in Zurich. Bahnhofstrasse for the shopaholics in your group, or even the lovers of window browsing, the Bahnhofstrasse is the place to be. It's a lengthy street that runs from Lake Zurich to the Hot Bahnhof train station, running across all of Old Town. And it's a shopper's paradise, especially those looking for high-end shopping. It has famous high-end brands including Chanel, Burberry, and Louis Vuitton. And of course, there are fancy Swiss-centric shops as well, like Confissieri Sprungli. For those not looking to empty their bank accounts out for the high-end shops, there are also some great areas that are more affordable. These include the Niederdorf and Langstrasse areas. At the very least, these two areas are great for window shopping. You can also stay and eat and drink there, as there are numerous restaurants and bars along the way. And there are plenty of hotels along it, so you can make your shopping last even longer. Zoo Zurich if you've had your fill of high-end shopping, you might want to see some cuddly and not-so-cuddly animals. If so, we'd recommend heading to Zoo Zurich. They host almost 400 species of animals from around the globe and have a miniature rainforest, a petting zoo, and more. In typical Swiss fashion, the zoo looks gorgeous and is kept neat and clean. It's also super easy to get around. It's slightly more pricey than the zoos you might be used to, at about $28 for adults and $23 for kids, but it's worth it. Plus, some of the money from the entrance fee goes towards their global efforts to protect endangered species. It's open every day from 9 to 5, and there are plenty of restaurants and gift shops inside. And check out their incredible elephant park while you're there. Swiss National Museum When you walk up to the castle that is the Swiss National Museum, you'll probably think you just stepped into a Disney movie or old fairy tale. It's a marvel to look at, and you'll probably want to take in a little bit to soak in the exterior before you walk inside. But inside, it's even more impressive. 
It's a giant museum dedicated to everything Swiss and Swiss cultural history. If you've ever wanted to learn about Switzerland, this is the best place to start. It contains thousands of artifacts, everyday objects, paintings, and more that give you a great insight into the history of this gorgeous country. On the first floor is a permanent collection that's called Simply Zurich, and not only is it cool and informative, but also free. It has plenty of interactive components, making it a great option for kids of all ages. And if you time your visit right, you might be there for one of the many concerts and assorted events that the museum puts on in their inner courtyard. Go on a food tour. Anyone who's been to Switzerland will vouch for the amazing foods, especially their desserts. And there's no better way to experience some of the culinary delights that Zurich has to offer than by going on a food tour. There are many to choose from all over the city. And with Zurich's abundance of restaurants, bars, cafes, and street vendors, you can try a few food tours without hitting up any of the same spots. We recommend the experts over at Swiss Food Tours, but honestly, you can't go wrong with so many of these great tours. Plus, there are themed tours like chocolate tours, brunch tours, and more. Another easy option is to design your own food tour and hop around to some of the top eateries in the city. Make sure you try raclette cheese, Bunderfleisch, which is cured beef, and Rosti, which are like hash browns. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorite things to do in Zurich? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.